Welcome friends, I hope you're having a beautiful, amazing day today and in today's video I want to give you the answer to the most popular question on this channel, it is how I eat and what my diet is like. You guys often ask what do you need to eat for the body that I have. I do not have any strict uh, diet, I do not count calories, I don't have any special restrictive diet, the only thing that I do not eat is I don't eat any type of meat, but I eat fish and everything else. So in this video, you will see everything that I cooked at home for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I'm sure you will be interested in how many calories I eat on average. So I'll be using my Gobi 3 Smart Band that is manufactured by Hilby Brand, which is the sponsor of this video. And I will be giving you an idea of the estimate of how many calories I eat. Gobi 3 is the best smart band to guide you on your wellness journey. It's the world's first band to track calorie intake, hydration and stress levels automatically. It comes in a slick minimal packaging and has a very stylish, comfortable design. Just charge it up, sync to your Hilby app and you are ready to go. Gobi 3 uses patented flow technology to track the calories you consume, measuring the fluid moving in and out of your cells during digestion. Hilby app analyzes the info and gives you a complete picture of how many calories you ate. The best part, you don't need to log anything manually. It saves a lot of time and helps you to stay on track wherever you are. It's easy to make the right food choices when you have all the data on your wrist. Gobi 3 counts your calories burned daily and gives you a clear picture about your energy levels. It uses basal metabolic rate and counts calories burned from any activities that involve arm movements when you are running, walking or doing errands. At the end of the day you can see your energy balance and if you consume too much and burn too little, you do the adjustment the next day, working out more or eating less. If you have issues with binge eating, frequent snacking, have those stubborn couple of pounds to lose, this band is perfect to see a clear picture of your calories consumed versus burned. Quite often we underestimate how much we consume or how high stress levels and dehydration stay in the way of losing weight. Hydration, sleep and stress tracking features will help you maximize your weight loss goals. If you are looking for more balance and want to be more mindful of what is happening to your body, this band is a must, until you can reconnect to your natural intuitive self-awareness. I've partnered up with Hilby to get you a special 10% discount. So if you are ready to rock your weight loss and wellness journey, use code CHRISTINA10 and follow the link in the description to get your Hilby band as soon as possible. Now if you are ready to see what I eat in a whole week, let's start with Monday. During the week my breakfasts are a little bit hectic. In the mornings I wake up at around 7 and I have to drop off the kids at school at 8 and then on Monday, Wednesday, Friday I have to teach a yoga class at 9 and on some days uh, like before teaching a yoga class, I have to make it uh, to the gym at around 8.30 to teach a quick uh, private uh, class and then uh, I start teaching a yoga class. So this influences my breakfast routine on these days. I normally eat, don't eat too much because I have to teach a class and sometimes I eat something that kids didn't finish or I eat half a banana or I can eat some oatmeal. This Monday it was a little bit hectic and I only had a couple of spoons of farmer's cheese with fruit that my kids didn't finish and after teaching a class I came back home and then prepared my uh, breakfast. Uh, it was the same thing I made for my kids. I had some farmer's cheese, it's not salty, not sweet. I buy it not so often but but sometimes I buy it to make sirniki, it's like the farmer's cheese pancakes. So, and sometimes we just have it for breakfast in the morning with uh, some fruits. Sometimes if it's too dry, we add sour cream. I added apples and uh, pears and added some seeds like sesame, hemp, uh, chia, and put a little bit of honey. It was very good and it's pretty filling. I made too much, so I didn't finish all at once, but um, I finished it up during the day instead of lunch. Normally in the mornings and during the day I drink uh, hot tea, it's uh, black tea, green tea or herbal tea. I don't drink coffee at home, uh, sometimes I drink lattes when I go outside, uh, maybe after teaching a gym class I can still buy it at the bakery or at a cafe to get a latte. But um, 
I noticed, especially with the Hilpi band that <laughs> tells me everything, it shows that on the days when I drink coffee, I am more dehydrated and the following day. So I've been trying to drink less coffee and less um, caffeinated tea, which I normally drink at home. And I made an herbal tea with calendula, uh, linden leaves and mountain sage, um, which are like very good for you to relax, to calm down, and they have anti-inflammatory effect for the body. So I really love making uh, herbal teas, especially in the evening. Since I had a late breakfast and was finishing it up during the day and was shooting videos, uh, I had a pretty early dinner. I prepared potatoes in an oven, snapper and a salad for the whole family. I like cooking uh, my potatoes in the oven. I just cut up the potatoes, uh, put some oil, I use a mix of organic Costco spices and just uh, put uh, salt and pepper and mix everything up and put it in an oven for about 35 minutes at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit on baking. And then while the potatoes were cooking, the fish was too early to start cooking yet because it cooks too fast. I started doing a salad. I sliced up white cabbage, tomatoes, radishes, cucumbers and mixed it in with olive oil and again some pepper and salt uh, mixed it in very well and it was really really good really delicious radishes are really good for detoxification so make sure to add them up in your salad and uh, when the potatoes were like half cooked I put some um, salt pepper and olive oil on top of my snappers and put them into the oven and I normally switch the oven to broil and put my fish on the bottom rack so that it didn't burn and it was a little bit uh, roasted at the top. So everything was cooked pretty quickly and we had a very delicious dinner. I didn't really eat everything that I put on my plate. Very often if I put too much on my plate, especially um, like potatoes or rice or pasta sometimes, I would prefer to finish all the salad or eat extra salad and uh, leave my potatoes or share them with uh, my husband. It was a very good delicious dinner. Everybody enjoyed it, including the kids, which are rare moments. So on Tuesday, after dropping off the kids at school at around 8 o'clock, I came back home and made breakfast for myself and my husband. I made um, eggs and normally I make eggs with veggies. So I use tomatoes and zucchini, put it in a pan with some olive oil and I added a splash of garlic with uh, salt and pepper. I cooked them for a little bit and then put uh, spinach on top and then I put my eggs. Uh, again, salt and pepper and cover them with a lid and cooked for a couple of minutes so that the whites were all cooked and the yolks were still runny. I always add fresh veggies to everything I cook. So to my eggs, I added avocado and some cucumbers and I had a little toast, uh, rice cake with fish and some sesame seeds on top. The breakfast was uh, pretty filling and it's one of my favorite breakfasts that I cook pretty often. For lunch I cooked borscht which is a uh, Russian beet soup and normally it's cooked with meat but I don't use meat, it was all vegan, only vegetables. So basically you start with uh, stir frying onions and carrots and then you can add bell peppers and maybe a little bit of uh, tomatoes. You start boiling water and putting in a couple of potatoes. Once the water starts boiling and the potatoes cooking, you can put uh, a little bit of cabbage into the boiling water. The classic recipe doesn't use cabbage, but since I don't uh, use meat and my husband likes uh, like thicker soups, so I put extra stuff. And then the beets. You can cut the beets up, but I think they give more color and more juice when you shred them. You can use the manual shredder or I use the electric one, which keeps the kitchen a little bit uh, cleaner from the beet juice and uh, you can choose to just put the beets into the um, uh, soup or you can stir fry which may change a little bit of the flavor and you can add some uh, lemon juice for the beets to keep the color so but it's up to you and you put everything in and then everything I stir fried I put it again into the soup into the boiling water and cook everything until um, all the veggies are cooked make sure don't uh, overcook it but uh, you can also leave uh, the beets a little 
little crunchy. If you like the crunch, it's healthier for you. You just put some salt and pepper to your taste and the soup is really good. You can add some lemon if it's on a sweeter side, the beets are a little sweet, the carrots are sweet. So I normally add a little bit lemon and I can stir fry a little bit of tomato paste and put it into the soup and it's really, really good. And you can serve it with a little bit of dill and maybe a little bit of garlic if you like garlic, fresh garlic, and it's really good. And uh, in our culture, they normally eat it with sour cream, but I don't always uh, eat it with sour cream. So this is what I had for lunch and for dinner I cooked rice with veggies and again a fresh salad. For the rice I started with stir frying onions and carrots and adding some spices. Once they were almost cooked through the pre-washed rice that I already prepared I put it into the onions and carrots to stir fry the rice as is so that it would uh, soak in some oil and once it was all covered in oil I put into the pan uh, some hot water a little bit above the level of the rice and covered it with a lid so the rice was cooking I didn't stir anything and the rice was just soaking in uh, the water and meanwhile while the rice was cooking I made stir-fried eggplant I really love eggplant it's very filling for me I I really loved it from childhood so it's uh, one of my favorite veggies I just put some oil, salt, pepper, and it cooked pretty fast. My older son loves broccoli and corn, so I uh, just boiled some broccoli and corn and made a salad, the most basic uh, Russian salad that we normally eat at home. It's tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, radishes, and uh, I put dill, onions, and we use sour cream as our dressing, salt and pepper. It's really, really good. So this is all that we had for dinner. It was pretty filling and we didn't have any protein, any fish that day. So Wednesday morning is the day when I teach a class. The morning was a little bit hectic and after dropping off the kids at school, I drove right away to the gym and I had like a half banana before teaching a class. And after teaching a class, I stopped by in a bakery right next door. There are lots of uh, very delicious pastries and my favorite one is called Palmier. It's uh, thin and very crunchy. I love crunchy pastries. So I got one for me, I took it home and had my tea with Palmier as uh, my breakfast. And while I was drinking my tea, I was reading my anatomy book about fascia and uh, how I can make my classes even better. And for lunch I had borscht that I cooked the previous day. And I went out with kids pretty late. We went to the park and by the time we came home, it was already 8 p.m. and we tried to put them into bed at nine. So I had to cook up something really quickly. I made a fresh salad and I cooked spinach cheese ravioli and it was the first time I bought it. I tried some vegan patties that are made with only uh, vegetables and I think there was quinoa and mushrooms. Um, so it was not bad, but a little bit on the dry side. And I did not like it that it was already pre-cooked. I liked my food fresh from scratch. So I didn't really enjoy that it was already kind of half cooked or pre-cooked, but I didn't notice it when I was buying it. Uh, for the salad, I used spinach, tomato, cucumber, onions, avocado, olive oil, salt and pepper. So very basic, but very uh, good and delicious. And this is all I had for dinner. And of course, kids love pasta and ravioli, so they ate everything and enjoyed the dinner too. Thursday, it was a day off at school for my older son and we wanted to go somewhere away for the day, so we kept the little one at home too. And normally on weekends or days off, they want me to make pancakes or thin uh, crepes for them, or sometimes I make sirniki. So I kind of made a mix of sirniki with uh, banana pancakes. I used kefir, non-sweet, uh, with uh, farmer's cheese, eggs, bananas and flour. And I don't like to put too much flour into my pancakes or crepes, so very often they are on a uh, like wet side, not too dry, uh, which I really like. They're very uh, tender. So 
this is all we had for breakfast. The kids really loved them, enjoyed them. It was very good. After finishing the breakfast, we decided to go somewhere out of town and we went down south to the Key West area. It's called the island of uh, Isla Morada. There is nothing special, just nature, <laughs> ocean. But there is one place that we really love to eat, like a, a bar, like a restaurant right on the water. And um, uh, after that, we normally go to like a park with a bay. It's very quiet and very good uh, warm water uh, for the kids. So we had our late lunch at the restaurant. There is lots of seafood, but um, lots of it is deep fried, which I try to avoid and don't order. But everything comes with fries. So it took me forever to decide what I wanted to eat <laughs> as always. But I took like a fish burger, so it's basically like a filet of uh, mahi-mahi or like white fish with some veggies and it came with uh, french fries and I ate a little bit of the french fries and I left the uh, bun out and we also had oysters which uh, I really love. We went home on the same day so when we were right home I had to quickly cook something up. I uh, warmed up the rice from the previous day. I made a fresh salad. For the salad I used tomato, cucumber, radish, some seeds, nuts and lime juice with uh, oil, salt and pepper and it was really good and as I said I always um, have a fresh salad for dinner if I can I have it for lunch too. As a side I pan fried uh, some tofu, I stir fried eggs with some cheese and I dipped it in flour and pan fried it with a little bit of oil. My kids don't normally like tofu but this time they really enjoyed it I guess because there was a little bit of uh, cheese on top and it was a little bit crunchy so they ate all of it and maybe because they were hungry after the drive but re they really enjoyed it. Friday it was again the day when I teach a class. The kids are making it a little bit harder for me to have a calm <laughs> relaxing breakfast so I took care of the kids and had a little bit of farmer's cheese with some orange and banana and sesame seeds uh, but I prefer not to eat too much because then it's hard for me to train and like uh, teach the class because I demonstrate. After teaching a class I stopped by at the Pura Vida cafe. It's one of my favorite cafes nearby. I love the design, the style and the food is really fresh and delicious. I had to go to Costco to do some grocery shopping and this is why I stopped by to have uh, like, uh, like I guess second breakfast because the farmer's cheese uh, burns <laughs> too quickly. So I love to have a perfect egg sandwich which is a scoop toasted bagel with everything on it, all the seeds and it comes with uh, a little bit of cheese, uh, spinach, tomato, avocado, eggs, boiled eggs and uh, like some very good dressing. So nothing crazy, very basic but it's very delicious. I love the toasted uh, bagel especially the fact that it's scooped out so I have all the crunchy parts uh, left and all the uh, carbs are gone and after that I had to go to Costco to buy some groceries because the fridge was uh, pretty empty no veggies as I said I need my fresh veggies I need my fruits and I need a variety so I stopped by at Costco I did uh, the shopping and at Costco I bought this uh, Spanish dessert it's um, I don't remember how it's called in English, but in Russian, I guess it's called Nuga. It's uh, nuts, mostly nuts, almonds, and I guess it's uh, made with some egg whites or something, but it's like pretty crunchy. So I had a little bit of that uh, in the car. <laughs> and uh, my band was telling me that I need to drink water. So it just kept sending me the reminders. So I was having my water during the day. After Costco, I came home and I had to make lunch for my husband and uh, I wasn't too hungry but kind of hungry so I decided to have lunch with him and I made uh, fresh salmon that I bought at Costco. I put it on broil on the low rack, uh, salt, pepper, no uh, oil. I made some mushrooms and cut up some veggies, uh, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, some onion and uh, parsley on top. 
it was very good uh, and not too heavy. For dinner, I cooked some pasta that I bought in a Russian store. It was interesting because it took a long time to cook and it, I need, it needed lots of water, so I cooked uh, for a while. And uh, normally when I don't want to like cook uh, broccoli or mushrooms in a separate pan or don't want to get the dishes dirty, I would just put them into the uh, pasta like on top. So basically kind of steaming or like boiling, cooking in water for a little bit. So I did this with uh, the mushrooms and the uh, cauliflower when the pasta was almost uh, finished. And I made uh, branzini in the oven. Again, salt, pepper, and just a little bit of oil on top, on broil. And I made a salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, radishes, um, cabbage, uh, some peppers. It's again, oil, uh, some lime juice, uh, parsley, and uh, onions. I don't love to eat too much pasta, but sometimes I do because the kids love it. I always have it with a large salad to balance it out. So this is what we had for dinner on Friday and everyone really enjoyed it. Saturday morning I was teaching a private class and after that we had a late breakfast. I made a toasted croissant with some veggies, smoked salmon and eggs. So I toast my croissants um, in a oven. I don't have a toaster or a microwave at home, so I use broil normally. Quite often I burn them, <laughs> but this time it was uh, safe and fine. And then uh, I put some uh, spinach on top, uh, some cucumbers and uh, smoked salmon. And I cook the eggs um, in water. I guess it's the same uh, style of cooking that is used for egg benedict. Uh, I put some vinegar into the water and uh, break the egg right into the water. It's not uh, cold or it's not boiling, it's like um, medium hot and uh, you just take the uh, eggs carefully out and put it on top of your sandwich and it's uh, very delicious and I really love all my sandwiches on a toasted croissant. So after that we spent the day on the beach and when we went home I cooked uh, buckwheat that I normally buy in the Russian store. I tried buying buckwheat in a Whole Foods but it's completely like different one. It's not the same one so I just uh, keep buying um, the same one that we are used to um, in Eastern Europe. I prepared cauliflower and mushrooms in the oven um, basically the same thing I do with the fish a little bit of uh, oil salt and pepper or any kinds of spices and it's being cooked on broil or on bake uh, not too long so that it could uh, still keep the crunch, especially if it's uh, cauliflower or any type of veggies. And uh, instead of fish, I uh, bought uh, some vegan uh, patties. Uh, I don't remember which, like what brand, what's the name, but it's made with uh, pea protein uh, and uh, kids seem to like them. So I just cook them in a pan. They don't require, again, any oil, uh, but sometimes I forget and put <laughs> some oil in the pan, but you can cook it without any oil or even in the oven. I've been uh, using uh, the oven too. I just put them into a glass um, a dish and put it inside and they are uh, cooked uh, pretty quickly. And for the salad, I used my basic list, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, spinach, uh, seeds, nuts, um, oil, uh, some lime, and um, it was good to go. So again, because everyone was hungry, the kids were really good at eating buckwheat, although they are not fans of buckwheat or rice or like any, uh, basically side, any carbs. Although the older one prefers to eat the like the rice uh, versus the fish and the little one is the other way so it makes it a little difficult um, to decide what to cook so that everybody was full but recently it has been getting a little better and uh, they are eating a little better than before. Sunday morning the kids asked for crepes, so we call it thin pancakes and I usually use some nut milk or oat milk so this time it was uh, oat milk. I put a couple of eggs and flour in it, uh, mix it up and ready to cook. The kids love to start the process. They love helping me out and making the pancakes. They love to take the things out of the fridge and start um, adding the ingredients. Normally it's a little extra 
of uh, cleaning time for me, but uh, I try to let them in into the process and like um, get used to helping me out. And um, for us, for me and my husband, for breakfast, I made again a, a croissant toast and I did the avocado like mash up with tomatoes and cucumbers, salt and pepper. It's basically like guacamole, but it also has cucumbers. Normally I put the avocado meshy stuff on top of my croissant and put um, some spinach and uh, smoked uh, salmon on top and my eggs on top. But this time I just put uh, the salmon on top and uh, had a couple of eggs on the side with my green tea. And again for the day we went away and were um, all the way outside of uh, the house on the beach and uh, we were snacking with fruits and in the evening it was kind of late um, when we went home and we were really hungry so the kids wanted us to get some pizza and we stopped by at a nearby pizza place so and, and everyone had some pizza for dinner so this is uh, it uh, this is everything that i ate in a whole week and during the week um, my band was showing me that i'm eating um, between 1500 and 2000 calories i was working out uh, a lot teaching classes teaching privates and um, recording some videos uh, so the balance like the energy balance uh, on the band was uh, sometimes negative on the days when I ate um, a little more it was um, uh, a little bit positive but you can use the band data to be able to average out your um, uh, calories like on a weekly scale even for the kids like when you go to the pediatrician and you ask them how you should feed your child uh, they normally say that you shouldn't think about like uh, like or trying to put everything in like one day menu for your kids if he eats something on Monday and then something different on Friday as long as it's within a week it's good so I guess we can use that too like it's okay you shouldn't be stressing out if you ate too a little more than you needed on one day like as long as you're mindful and conscious of the next days uh, and you can balance it out that's great you can balance it out with activity or eating a little bit lighter eating a little more uh, salads uh, raw stuff which is a little bit easier on digestion, a little uh, higher on vitamins. So um, the band is really, really useful for you to monitor and to understand where you are. Like I realized that I'm pretty balanced, like intuitively I'm balancing it all out but I'm really bad with hydration so it's good that it's buzzing on my hand telling me that I need to drink more water and I've noticed that um, uh, I could have a little bit less stress if I organized my time differently. For example, I noticed that uh, it shows a little higher than average stress levels when I'm driving, but I know that most of the time when I'm driving somewhere, I am late. And uh, this is because of my time management that I'm late and having my uh, high stress levels. So what I need to do is uh, try to organize myself a little better and then I will be driving a little slower <laughs> and I will have less stress so like all the information in the band is really really useful to help um, all of us to balance our um, like life uh, different spheres of life and which helps our bodies to function um, better more like uh, properly and it will be easier for us to control the weight um, and be healthier in like in general so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it was not too much food for you <laughs> to process and uh, please leave me a comment if you have any questions um, if you have any ideas for future classes thank you to hilby brand for sponsoring this video remember to use the link in the description under the video and use the code christina10 to get your band it's a perfect gift for yourself for your family members for your friends um, not only for somebody who wants to lose weight but on average who is looking for a more balanced uh, life uh, who is looking for uh, wellness uh, this is like a really really perfect thing to have uh, on your wrist subscribe if you're not subscribed yet share with your friends until we meet again namaste